this ends up being okay. All oh. right, and you didn't okay. Let's let's not worry about time just yet. Okay, so okay. check this out. Let's see. Now, remember, we're doing a comparison and contrast. Now, you didn't use it. Now, obviously, I was talking about fixed mindset versus growth mindset, older versus younger. Now, yeah. I did see something in regards to on the other hand here. And so I feel like, okay, let's see exactly what you had written in in this paragraph right here. So first of all, traveling at a young age is better because older people do not have the same energy as young people. Okay, so basically your paragraph is going to have to be about energy. See, okay. whatever you say in your thesis right there, it's going to be, that's what it's going to have to be about. Okay, yes. so you said some of the reasons for this is because young people have more energy to go out and visit places. And young people can also learn about different cultures with an open mind and no stereotypes. Fucking brilliant ideas. Now, I just don't know that now the reason you said, oh, well, I'll, you know, I'm not exactly sure because, you know, the ideas. Well, you're talking about energy. Holy shit, Ruben. I don't know what to say about energy. I mean, I know a couple <laughs> of things about energy. I know a lot of people who have a lot of weak ass energy. I know you in America, boy, they got some weak ass energy out there. Like you'd be like, hey, how you doing today? I'm okay. Uh, how you doing? No, that was like, like oh, that here. can't complain. I always I hate when they say that. Oh, can't complain. I'm like, oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, so then you're going to have to compare and contrast old people energy versus that young energy. But at the right. same time, young people got some garbage ass energy. You know what I'm saying? It's a... <laughs> so that's what your paragraph's going to have to be about. Do you believe that that's probably the main reason why it was very difficult for you? Yeah. To write everything out. I think that's the main culprit right there. So let's see. Old people do not go out for long walks and they may miss great places to visit because they are too tired. <laughs> you see, it's not like very, uh, I don't know. It doesn't pop, right? right? We're talking about old people walking. So you have the energy what... to talking about old people walking. Yeah. It's a, I the know, idea is basic. That's all I'm saying, Ruben. The idea basic. is a little bit basic. That's all. Too basic, I would say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's a little bit basic, you know? That's why you're like, okay, well, you know, old people walk about one meter, young people walk two meters. I'm like, <laughs> right, oh, right, wow, right. wow, we're talking about walking. You see what yeah. I mean? So anyways, I'm just giving you an idea of what it looks like from my perspective. For example, a 65-year-old... What we're going to do yeah. here, we're going to have to hyphenate it. I know it's a little bit. A 65-year-old person would would probably okay. not. That is the word order. Oh, okay. Well, probably not. Okay. okay. Would probably not. Okay. Not probably. Well, I'm sorry. Not would probably. Would probably not. Not yeah. would probably. Yeah, yeah. You get it. You get it. Okay, okay. use a it. long itinerary with different places to visit and then go to a party and enjoy the rest of the night. On the other <laughs> hand, young people can go and discover many places and enjoy more with more energy and go out for a drink after the itinerary is done. Okay. I know, I know it's too basic, you know, but it, I know if like the... Um, the structure like is great. The structure, the structure is great. That like, I, I love, it. I love it. Okay. To hell with the idea. If we look at your structure, your structure is great. At least you're not saying some people believe this, other people believe this. I believe <laughs> and now, as long as you're not saying that, I'm happy. Your structure uh, is totally different. How do you feel about your new structure? Really? Uh, that's really good. That's what I, that's what I'm telling you. I think they're better, of course, a lot better than my before um essays. Yep. But still, my ideas are too basic. Hopefully, I can get a topic that I feel very confident talking to. But at but, the same time, the second idea is pretty good. I mean, the second paragraph, better. you talked about prejudices yeah. and stuff like that. that. That's why I said your points of view that you gave me, they helped. Um, I try not to use them because I know my main problem is finding ideas. So I'm just like, let's try to find an idea. But yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, not too bad. Okay, well, let's look here. Secondly, old people tend to have a fixed mindset that makes them not only hard to adapt, that that makes them, that makes it not only hard to adapt to foreign cultures, but also they might end up judging and creating false stereotypes. 
Okay, for example, now you implemented a sentence right here that says old people may experience culture shock and not be able to accept it. This might be a generational issue. I feel like that's a sentence that we could get rid of. Doesn't really matter because you stated a really good thesis and a supporting detail already. So just follow it up with an example. Try Got not it. to add additional sentences between your thesis and support. Make sure it goes straight into the example. That talks about might end up judging and creating false stereotypes. Oh, okay, make okay. Okay, make it easier. Okay. Okay, for example, it is difficult for an adult to go to the red light <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, I god! I didn't, I didn't know any other examples. Now, now, oh shit! We talking hookers now? Ruben, what are we talking about up in here, man? We're talking hookers now? Can you imagine? I, I, mean, if, I don't know. The thing is, like, this is the thing. I'm watching Ted Lasso TV show, ah! and they went to Amsterdam. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let's talk about this then, you know? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, if you were to just give an example. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of Ted Lasso, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, but. Oh, my God. Um, Old people have a tendency of complaining. Yeah. And so, for example, if an older gentleman from, let's say, a country like Thailand, and this is kind of a true story, mm -hmm. and he comes and he comes at an age of north of 50, if he travels to the likes of, let's say, a country in, sub in, you know, in southern Africa, such as Zimbabwe or South Africa, he is not going to be able to adapt. And he won't be as open-minded because he already has a preconceived notion of what the people are. Right. Yes. See what I mean? Does that make sense? Now, it's funny because I was actually speaking about my wife's boss. He's like the CFO of one of the airlines. I can't say it. But he's like a CFO. And the thing is, is, is she always tells me, she's like, he always tries to, this, it, it could be a perfect man. And the next thing you know, he ends up saying, oh, but his, but his pito is, his pito is small. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? So he always tries to find the little faults and the little things. Right, I right, call right. them the manupa and the manut loom out here in Thailand. The grumpy old bitches or the grumpy old men bitches. Whatever you want to call them. The putos, <laughs> the putas, I don't give a fuck. But anytime you see them, they got that 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 bitch face, that low energy. Yeah. That, oh, I'm judging the fuck out of you. Ooh, black man. Ooh, sweating. Ooh, well, you know what I'm saying? They're very less to adapt. However, when you're young, you're diving into it. Backpackers, it it. Okay. backpackers, yeah. are back on, man, I went to Sudatani. This is where a lot of backpackers come through. And it felt so fucking good, Ruben, seeing all these people from European countries. I'm just guessing where they are because I'm listening to the accents. Them saying Sawadee Cup and adapting, saying Sawadee Cup, right, right, right. hello. Jesus, mm -hmm. they're not like, hello, yes, I'm flying to Expedition. Can you help me? No, 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 no. The lessen your English and make it easy for the other people. Yeah. Adaptation. So I'm right, talking right, about right. from my experience. And listen, Ruben, where did you study again? Uh, Belgium. The, oh, come on. Talk, yeah. don't, don't talk about them hookers. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, no. Talk about your experience in Belgium because I know that yeah. there are probably British. Okay. Oh, not, I'm not going to say British because obviously Welsh and... Um, the Scots fall under that, yeah. but English, they have a very, they poor adaptation. Old people, right. man, you should see the way these old teachers out here bitch and bitch and complain about every single goddamn thing that people do. My goodness, yeah. you just got to let things be. Stop trying to control everything. That's yeah. what I'm doing. I'm literally implementing everything that has happened in my life into this. That's what I want you to do. That's yeah, what I'm that's hard, I don't know why my, I don't know, my mind. Your just... mind talking about hookers. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 <laughs> your mind. I don't know. I don't know. So what, Ruby, we got to figure out. Shit, given the fact yeah. that we got, what, two weeks? Okay. We I got know. About two because they weren't watching Ted Lasso, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hold on, but let's I'm check it out. <laughs> let's check out your idea. Let's see. It is difficult for an adult to go to the red light district. In Amsterdam and see prostitutes without prejudices and feeling ashamed of them. Meanwhile, young people may enjoy 
<laughs> and adapt. I, I I to... Enjoy, enjoy yeah. what, Ruben? <laughs> Watching, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All we have to do, let's implement something. Oh, well, that's a really good idea if you actually think about it. Okay. Meanwhile, young people see. All you have to do is switch it up. Meanwhile, young people may express empathy or curiosity instead of judging you, you see what i mean it's just all about rewording it just slightly you know what i mean and i totally understand like that is a brilliant idea if you actually think about it but if I, I know you've seen old there. couples walk across and remember i i don't think i told you but i was at a shorebird bar it was a it was a bar out there in honolulu hawaii and it was okay. about 11 years ago and i was wearing my shirt that i just bought from at tokyo airport and it's crazy because, you know, the guy that was sitting next to me, him and his wife are there. And he just asked me a question. He's like, oh, I see that you, you're wearing a Tokyo shirt. I was like, yeah, I just traveled through there. And the look of disgust on his wife's face. I'm Boy. like, bitch, do you not know Tokyo's in Japan? One of the better countries, top 10 easily oh. in the world, in the top five in terms of se- top two in terms of safety. Okay. Top three, uh, top one in terms of, you know, environmentally, you know what I mean? Like you're giving me a dirty look. That's what I'm talking about in terms of old people. And I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm saying that their perception of reality is fucked. That's all I'm saying. That's so by those experiences. And I know Ruben, you've been through there and I know you were in Belgium and someone's like, oh, you're from, oh, oh, oh. They associate you with things that they've learned. When you're from Colombia, they say say Pablo Escobar. When you're from Venezuela, they say, "Eh." when you're from America, they, they, my students in the South would always say smoke weed every day. And I'm like, "Uh, I didn't (laughs) weed before, but thank you very much. Uh, You know what I mean? And so it's just whatever. Anyway, so I'm just giving you ideas, man. That's all I'm, but good. I'm I'm still, I'm very happy because I know the structure is getting better. Right. Which was a big problem that I had because <laughs> I didn't right. know how to how was it. But um yeah, I have to come up with better ideas. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't remember, but the ideas I came up with on the my first exam, the ideas were pretty good. Right. But the structure was horrible. So I think like if I come up with good ideas, I like, I think I can do good. I exactly. I think you got it. And listen, let, let's first and foremost, let's bravo to the new structure. Yeah. Let's bravo to the new structure. <laughs> let's bravo to not having that many grammatical errors anymore. Yeah. Let's bravo yeah. to not repeating the same thing over and over in terms of ideas. Yeah. Let's we, bravo to a I very did. fucking <laughs> You know what I'm I saying? used to do that. I used to repeat and repeat all over again. You know, like... <laughs> right. Uh, uh, let, let's put some of that good energy on what we've right, accomplished. Right, right, right. <laughs> the thing is, it's all based on, and the problem is, TOEFL, you've already heard me say this before, is trash. And TOEFL is trash simply because the Indians create questions such as, what value would you teach an alien? And I'm like, bro, uh, teaching values to AI, I've heard some of the dumbest motherfucking essay questions in the world. Yeah. So, like I said, it's <laughs> just fu- <laughs> Two ideas, follow that process. It's gonna be uh, hard. There's gonna be some dumbass questions out there. Okay. Uh, I know. I wanna I wanna come up with good ideas. I think I think I will. I think you're I gonna will. be all right. You're gonna be all right. When you're actually put to the test, just literally coach yourself through that process and say, okay, yeah. I'm gonna go from here to there and just keep it going. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Okay, here we go. In conclusion, traveling while young can be more fun and enjoyable than traveling at an old age because young people have more energy. Moreover, young people are easily to adapt to new cultures and experiences, breaking the false stereotypes that people tend to create. Fucking beautiful. Wonderful motherfucking cook. <laughs> and, the then fuck I'm I'm if, about, Ruben. and then I use if, like the result, like what happened if young people travel? Exactly. Family. If, if yeah. young people have the chance to travel abroad, open their minds, the world would be so much better. You're absolutely, yes. you're uh-huh. absolutely, and so you're given a future prediction. So in the future, if children begin, you know, or if if the world and societies begin to send children, blah, 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 that's exactly what you just said. You know, you got the conclusion, you got the thesis, all we need are those ideas. I'm feeling real good, Ruben. 